Hey guys, welcome to my tree bed. Boy, I caught that mean old Grinch creeping up my palm tree trying to take my Christmas decorations. <laughs> I stopped him. I challenged him to a surfing contest, and I won. Let's try to draw that mean old Grinch, huh? He was pretty funny on that surfboard. He kept falling in the water. Well, I think we're going to use a shape like this. See that shape there? It's almost like the bottom part of a heart, huh? Just doesn't have the top part. That's going to help us a lot, I think. What else will we use? Well, let's see. We're going to use that kind of shape there, that kind of spiky shape. Looks like grass or hair or something, right? And I think that kind of shape there too, right? It's kind of like the spikes, but not pointy. Okay, let's put it together down here. Let's draw the Grinch. Mean old Grinch. <laughs> you should have seen him out there trying to surf. All right, let's start with that straight line there. That's going to help us place all the features, okay? And I'm going to start with a circle. That'll be like the old nugget part of his head, huh? The top part. <laughs> Remember, don't worry about drawing perfect circles. I don't think I've ever drawn a perfect circle. Let's see, what should we add to it? Well, I'm going to see where I want to end down there, and I'm going to start on the side. It's going to be his cheeks, right? That kind of heart shape that we talked about. I'm going to start from that point, come down, and in a curve like that. Kind of like the letter S. See that? Now I'm going to do it on the other side. Start there, like a backward S, sort of. See how it looks like a heart? <laughs> Who would have think the mean old Grinch has a heart on his face? <laughs> does, though. Maybe he really does have a big heart now. All right. That's a good start to the shape. Try that, okay? Start with a circle and put a heart shape on either side of it. That's a good start for his face. Let's see. Well, let's do his big old eyes, huh? They're kind of low on his face. I'm going to put him underneath that line there. Okay. They're kind of like two ellipses like that on either side. Let's draw his nose. There we go. Nose kind of looks like a piece of chewed up gum. <laughs> All right. And then let's do that kind of creepy grin smile that he has. See, it's going to come down here and it's going to curve up like a heart, like the outside of his face. See that? We're going to use that S shape again, that kind of heart. There it is. All right. You got it. Try that line there. That kind of looks like an S or a heart. See that? His face looks complicated, but when you think about it as just different shapes and lines, you can start building it. All right. Let's put those hairy old eyebrows on that he has, huh? I think you should get a set of tweezers. What do you think? <laughs> well, I should talk. Okay. Let's do this side. And we got to make him kind of look kind of mean. Because that's kind of what he does, right? Let's see. Let's add those pupils in there. Put him a little bit closer to the edge of the eye on the inside. See how I did that? It makes it look like he's looking at you. If you have the pupils off to the side and stuff, it doesn't look like the character's looking at you. And can you believe it? That old Grinch was wearing a Santa hat when he was trying to take my Christmas decorations. That's when I caught him. I said, Grinch, put that coconut down, sir. <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah. He couldn't carry my big palm Christmas tree, though. You know why? Because it still has roots in the ground. <laughs> There's the top part of that Santa hat. Comes up like that. Kind of like a triangle. See this? There's another S-curve there. That's where the part kind of hangs down a little bit. Then I'm going to do another S-curve there. See the long part of the hat hanging down? It's just two S-curves. Finish the other side of the triangle. Okay, we're building this Grinch with a lot of shapes, huh? Now let's use that rounded scallop edge that we had up there in our shape library. See those? These kind of bumps you could do any way you want. This way or that. Bumpy, lumpy, big, small. It doesn't matter. It's kind of good if it's all different and crazy. Let's do some more of those bumpies over here. Yeah, there we go. That's a good start, I think. Oh, <laughs> don't forget that sort of tassel he has hanging off the edge there. 
Kind of looked like this after he fell into the ocean. It was dripping with seawater. Alright, what now? Oh, yeah, well, he's kind of furry. Like somebody you know. And? Let's put that fur on his face, okay? Yeah, see how I just break up my line? I have the shape underneath there, that heart shape we did. Now I put that kind of pointy line on top of it, and it looks like the furry old Grinch! That's how you build a drawing, okay? You start with your basic shapes, and then you build your decorative stuff on top of it. You gotta build before you can decorate, I always say. I've never said that before. I like it, though. I'm gonna keep it. Alright. Let's darken up his eyes a bit. Kinda looked like he didn't get enough sleep, I think. Oh, he had that center line on his mouth there. Yeah, okay, let's ink him. Come on, Inky Pen. Where are you, buddy? Let's ink this Grinch, huh? Alright. Where should we start? Remember when you're inking, you're gonna go over the lines nice and slow. You can turn the page if you want to get a better angle. I'm gonna start with his eyes, I think. Picking out the line I like. Yeah, like that. Let's give him a nice highlight on both sides there. I think I wanted to start with the eyes with the Grinch because his eyes are always looking at you. All right, I'm gonna turn the page a little bit. I guess I'll do those crazy hairy eyebrows next. Alright, this is the fun part, huh? The whole thing's the fun part, I guess. Boy, I love drawing. It kind of relaxes me. And it's fun when you're finished, you can share it with your friends. Alright. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go ahead and ink this old green Grinch. Green Grinch. And? Then we'll come back on the other side and see how it came out, huh? You know what I mean. I'm gonna go into Super Cecil mode. Alright, let's do it! Ready? Here we go! Super Cecil mode! Okay, I'm back from Super Cecil mode. All right. See how I just went over my drawing like that? Made the lines nice and thick. I'm also adding that kind of furry texture to him. See that? These kind of lines and dots like that. Kind of gives your drawing a little bit of personality, huh? A little bit of shading and stuff and texture. Boy, he has a lot of texture, that's for sure. <laughs> Mean old Grinch. Don't come and try to take my Christmas decorations again, buddy. <laughs> I should send him a Christmas card next year. What do you think? Huh? It's looking pretty good, I guess. Add some texture here and there. Make it furry. All right, that was fun. All right, bye guys. Keep drawing now, okay? Merry Christmas!